Hello everybody, welcome to What is the Legend of Zelda the Ocarina of Time. Just before I actually jump into this game completely, I just want to give you a couple of quick announcements, such as why I haven't been doing anything recently, which I have an update video on, and I don't know how many people actually watched those in total, so I just wanted to say I've been sick for the past week, and that's why I haven't been recording. And number two is, if you've cam come to this video seeking anything along the lines of how to get all of the Skeltulas, or all the bottles, or finding the masks, or anything along those lines, this is the wrong video for you. Because I do not go for completion marks in the slightest for these kinds of games. I pretty much get the bare minimum, due to the fact that I do not care. So, <laughs> if I can beat the game, that's good enough for me. There we go. Fancy. I'm not making a second file. Alright. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as a guardian spirit, or the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree, or Deku Tree, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know. Deku Tree. I always call it the Deku Tree, so I'm going to call it the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or, own, or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Deep storyline right here. I know. Didn't really look like he was sleeping. I'm pretty sure he had his eyes open. I wasn't really paying attention too much. Oh man. Crazy shit just went down. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Oh Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon the, this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. Or the land of Hyrule, whatever the fuck it said. For so long the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deteriorating outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose... Yeah, the youth whose destiny... It is to lin, wow, lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. I'm sorry. Navi, go now find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest... Nay, the world depends upon thee. I wasn't even looking at the screen for some of that, so... It's kind of eyeballing people walking outside my house. It is Halloween and all, so... Hello! Hi! How are you? Is that guy dry humping a rock? That's pretty fucking awesome. Alright. We speed this up a little bit. No. I guess it's kind of a good time to talk about stuff. I have beaten this game before, so I do kind of know what I'm doing. I haven't played it in a very long time, though. I won't lie. I played it probably twice and completed it, so I have a very good idea of what's going on. Hello, Hello, Nerdiac. Wake up. The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Nerdiac, get up. Hey, come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Okay, everything's good, he's awake. Get shit started. He finally woke up! I'm Navi the Fairy. The great Deku Tree has asked, or Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you! The great Deku Tree has summoned you. 
So let's go, or let's get going right now. Alright. Let's see if I have everything. Okay, my controls are good. I am playing on an Xbox controller, not a keyboard, so. I just had to make sure all of my controls were set up. Kokri Forest. Yeah, ooh, high energy egg. Probably supposed to talk to her, but I'm just gonna blow her off because I don't really give a shit. Hopefully that doesn't do anything to the story. Fuck off. Thank you. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy. What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. I have a fairy, like, right beside me, don't I? Well, you've got a fairy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you at all? And... Wow. And not the Great... Mito? I didn't even read that. This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and shield? Really? Or ready? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Sheesh. Obviously, I knew that since I've beaten the game. I just wanted to go talk to him for storyline purposes. I also know you need 40 bucks to do so, so I'm gonna go get some money real quick, too. I was debating whether or not to play this game for YouTube even, because, you know, it is Zelda. It is a very puzzly game. I am not the best at puzzles by any means. In fact, I suck at puzzles. But for some reason, in Zelda, I'm not terrible at puzzles. I'm kind of mediocre. I also told myself that I wasn't going to record any other games past what I already have being recorded right now due to the fact that I don't think that it's the best idea to play more than like three or four games at a time for YouTube anyways because then storylines get a little bit crossed in my head or I just forget what I'm doing or I either don't want to play a game because I'm getting bored of it or something along those lines. And that is very true with Genji. It is not my favorite game. This, on the other hand, since it's a Zelda game and I've already beaten it, it shouldn't take more than, like, I want to say a week or two to complete, so it shouldn't take too long. You got the Kokiri Sword on the equipment screen, select it with the cursor, and equip it with A. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while, be sure to pr or practice with it before, you before you're ready to fight. Okay. Obviously I don't need to practice, because I've played Zelda before. I passed it. Alright. Whoa! I know I could go get stuff off screen, but I'm not going to. Because again, I'm lazy. I'm not going to stop the recording just for people's pleasure. If I get stuck in a temple or anything like that, then I might stop the recording, depending on how long I'm failing. But for the most part, I'm just gonna keep going because I personally enjoy watching people fail more than I like watching them totally conquer a game. Which is part of the reason that I play these games is because I like to watch people fail. And I fail a lot at this kind of game, so... Truth is, all YouTubers are human, and not everybody can be perfect at a video game, especially games of all different genres, so... If I'm really good at Mario, I might really suck at Zelda, even though it's made by the same company. Obviously. Alright, fifteen dollars to go. Or rupees, whatever you want to call these currencies. Yeah, don't pick it up, you dumbass. Thank you. Well, we gotta be getting close. 
I know you get like five rupees over here if you jump this perfectly. Yeah. Awesome. It's been a while since I've played the game, but I still remember secrets, so. I think that's it for this area. Oh shit. Alright. You got a green rupee. That's one rupee. You got a blue rupee. That's five rupees. You got another blue rupee. That's five rupees. And a recovery heart, which... Yeah. Everybody should know what a recovery heart does. Obviously, it gives you a heart. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I've been doing that this whole game so far. Oh, I have 45. Fuck it then. We're good. Let's go get the shield. Hi, Nerdyag. Look this way. Look over here with Z and talk to me with A. I'm not going to. Because I don't give a shit. Pretty sure all that she says is that you can buy the shield in here. And that's pretty... Like, it's shop. You would think that the only shop in this town, slash village, whatever you want to call it, would be this one. I didn't read any of that, but pretty much it's just press R. Press R to block. Alright. I'll have to go get some more storyline stuff done. I don't know how long this game is really going to take, so... If you want to see the Great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Hey, what's that? Oh, you have the Deku Shield. Or a Deku Shield. What's that? Is that the Kogri Sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp, or a wimp is still a wimp. I, the Great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Good shit. Shoot, how did I... Or how did you get to be favorite... Of Sarah and the Great Deku Tree, huh? Gumble Gumble. Or Grumble Grumble, whatever the fuck. He is obviously a racist or something because he doesn't like people properly. But that's fine with me, so. You got a Greek, or you got a Deku stick. Select it on the subscreen. Blah 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. Alright. Believe it or not, we are at the first dungeon already, which is the only one I remember, so. Great Deku Tree, I am back. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Erdiak, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Great Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber, these past moons, must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate deep breath pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive of or er, sensitive to it. Verily thou hast felt it. Nerdiac, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed, you need to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to, to undertake this task? Yes. Then enter brave Nerdiac and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Nerdiac. And Nerdiac, when Navi speaks, use up, or up C, whatever you want to call it, to listen to her words of wisdom. And for me, that was the right analog stick up, which is kind of awkward, but that's okay. Which is going to make using items pretty awkward too. But I thought it would be better to use A and X as A and B rather than using my analog stick as A and B because X 